Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to more enjoyment of Dark Souls 3. I'm your host, Shadow Fury 3 back more or less where I want to be, which is in Lothric Castle. Now, we had a bit of a detour last episode, but actually, last couple episodes, but now we're back on the main path, on track to finish this game. And I don't think there's anything over here. No, it's part of a shortcut. You drop down on it there. But straightforward is pretty much the hardest area of Lothric Castle, which is this one knight and another priest that supports that knight. This, this is seriously the hardest part of the area. I'm not joking. This is going to be a bit of a pain. Like, Lothric Knights, as we've seen before, can be a problem sometimes. And now that this one's buffed. Pretty heavily buffed, actually. I need to be careful. Especially since I can't seem to parry. Okay, that was bad. Why am I locked on you? No. Uh, okay. Good. We're good. We're not good. No, we're not. Ah, if I could just parry, it'd be fine. But I clearly can't. Uh, yep. Yeah. Wait. Well, not quite a... Haha. -ha. Something for a backstab. Ow, what? Oh, that was a bad time to roll. Can't roll and backstab at the same time. Noted. Also, would you stop having a life? Like, being in any way alive? Thank you. Very convenient. Now I can deal with your friend without having to worry too much about whether or not they hit me in any effective way. And kick! And stab! And who needs to parry when you just knock shield away? Yeah. 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 Ah there we go. Okay. Well, that's the hardest area I dealt with. And I really wasn't joking. That section is a pain in the butt. And, okay, I'm partly joking. I haven't finished the hardest area yet. I'm simply part of the way through it. Uh, Soul of a Crestfallen Knight, okay. The really hard part is actually right here. Because now there's another couple of these, along with another couple priests. That will cause problem- or not. Now, I kind of expected this would happen, given that I went through Arch Dragon Peak, and as I mentioned before, Arch Dragon Peak is kind of- well, I, Like, honestly, I was under level for that, so this is more what I was expected to take on- Next, and I, well, haven't. Until now. Oh boy. Well, I prep for this. Just, oh. There we go. Oh, what? Seriously? So I got the great Farron Dart, though, so I can deal with this stuff. Why aren't you dead? How much life do you have? I mean, seriously, I'm hitting you. Ah, stupid on reaction blocking. There we go. Now I've got you. Okay. Oh, darn it. I mean, the problem is that if I get hit while I'm trying to heal, then it kind of wastes the heal. What? Ah. See, like I said, this is the hardest section that I'm going to have to face. Especially if I die. Because if I die, then I have to go through it all over again. Which I don't really want to do, for obvious reasons. Ah, you have to delay it. Do you have to delay and track? Okay, there we go. Ha! There we go! After this, there's a few Lothric hollow sol or a few hollow soldiers, but no more Lothric knights, I think. Actually, there might be a bonfire up ahead. There's also this thing. Just worth noting, there is that one priest. I don't recall if there's a bonfire up ahead. I don't think there is, but... Oh, there is! Oh! Well, okay then. Well, we're good. Lothric Castle is going to be a breeze from here on out. Or at least, that was the area I was worried about. I probably am wrong. I'm probably missing something, but... Definitely, I'm not worried anymore. Especially since this is the area I was talking about before that goes to the right. So we can get back without fighting those Lothric Knights. It's a pretty good setup, I'd say. Continuing along, though, we will have to fight a few more... Enemies, this is not a mimic. But there's some hollows that need to be fought, and a bunch of prayer stuff that I'm probably not going to use. And a Titanite chunk, which I probably will use. And you. Nope. I need to practice my parrying. I successfully parried! And then dealt a boatload of damage. Okay. Actually, you know what? I gotta double check my rings here, because I'm... I mean, I was wise to have the Steel Protection Ring, but I want the Evil Eye back on. 
going to be more useful now that I'm fighting fewer enemies and not fighting a boss. Or not fewer enemies, more enemies. Oh, what the? Hang on, hang on. Something's wrong here. 70.1. Why am I at 70.1? Oh, Dust Crown slightly lighter. Hmm. I'm not sure how I want to do this. I think I might... Well, see, that drops my fire lightning by 3.6. Drops a bunch of other stuff by small amounts. Can I get less with gloves? I don't know. Looks like no. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to be looking a bit silly in the head department. Where is that? There it is. Crown of Dusk. I mean, I wouldn't mind so much if the two ear piece or wing pieces or whatever they are were symmetric. Then it would look pretty cool. But as it is, they're not symmetric and it just looks kind of silly. Yeah. Ha. All right. So this area, the only hard part here is that there's an ow. There's an area a bit further in where someone's going to throw down one of those Lloyd's talismans. Or not, Undead Hunter Charm. going to throw that down and that's going to cause me loads of problems. When that happens, well, I'm probably going to be prepared for it. Also, what? There we go. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm a bit more familiar with this area, honestly. We're actually out of the areas I haven't checked out in over a year. The last area like that was our Dragon Beak. Now we're back to areas I'm a bit more familiar with. Have seen sometime in the last, like, year. Ah, I still got hit. That's fine. Ow! What? Explosive bolts? Okay, that's bad. I can deal with the stuff if I'm able to kill them, but no. Ugh. I didn't realize they could hit me from there. Because the Undead Hunter Charm Thrower is on the top of that rampart, or the battlements, and I thought they couldn't hit me when I was over in the second, on the other side. That was not the way I wanted to learn that. Okay, let's try that again. So this time I'm going to avoid going to the bottom section. Get rid of the explosive bolt throwers first. And then the dude that does all the crap with the... Ow! No, bad. Not what I want. Okay. I just need to hit the explosive bolt shooters first. And everything after that is going to be a matter of just cutting things, apparently. Okay. That helps. I mean, the explosive bolts were the problem more than anything. Wait. Did I miss something? Because I don't... I hope I didn't miss anything. The halberd here at least can parry... Wow, I've actually gotten better parrying. Those used to be a massive problem. Parrying-wise, I should say. Why was that noise? Are there more explosive bolt shooters up there? Oh, there's you. No, you... I gotta... I don't know when to do that one. That's... That attack is based on your distance from them, so it's a little bit tricky to figure out when you can actually parry it because you can't just parry it throughout the entire run, the entire run up. It's very specific timing. Anyway, now I can theoretically deal with the thing up. Ah, screw it. Let's go to the other side. The other side we can find it a lot easier. Let's see here. I mean, I suppose I could always just wait until I go all the way around, but eh, I haven't got time for that. Or maybe I do, because I can't actually see it from here. They're, they are there. They're up there, I swear. I fought them myself with my own bare hands. Except with knives in the hands. They're not quite bare. But they were my hands. Okay, I forgot. I'll have to deal with them a bit more directly. So how many... How much SS do I have? I have 10. Not bad. And I'm not at full HP. But I'll see if I can heal off, off the Lothric Knight over here. Because they're kind of busy, so they're not going to notice if I backstab them. I mean, they will, because, you know, they'll have a knife in their back. But they won't notice in advance, so I can just get rid of them before they do anything and get the HP from every source I have. Okay. Free HP. Free-ish HP. Good enough for me. And, of course, here, these dragons. So the thing about the dragon bit here, other than the fact that I kind of lost my chance to run across there... And didn't realize how far down the flames go. thing about the dragons is that you have to kind of go across and then to the side. 
Like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And see, this part is where it becomes tricky. Because remember those pus of man things? This is kind of why I got those fire bombs. Because, yeah, you have to keep fighting them. There are yet more of them out there. I don't remember when these guys wake up. Okay, that one's going to wake up any second now. And there it goes, but I don't really care to fight Puss of Man form, because why? Why would I do that in cl such close quarters? Oh, hey, more stuff. But also, that's because there's two of them. And the second one I don't want to deal with when I'm dealing with the first one, which I might end up doing because I'm rolling around. But, hey, why deal with either one? Just go past them. You get fewer souls, sure, but, nah. That's not especially difficult to correct. Hmm, lightning urn. I might need that. Okay, this is a bit of a pain. I'm not even going to bother going for that guy because, see, there's these things. And it's not just one of them. This is just the first one meant to lure you in. Ah. But, see, the problem is that there's actually more than one. As demonstrated by that one rather conveniently of timing. Why is it coming behind me? And there should be a third one that jumps over the wall here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, right, and there's a fourth one. I forgot about the fourth one. Oh, what I really forgot about was the fifth one. Clearly, I remember the fourth one well enough. It was the fifth one that was going to get me. Okay. I, oops. Oh, I was hoping I'd actually nail the firebomb. Eat fire! And then smagic! Oh, wait, no, that's not... Wow, great fire door's not... Darn it, I can't... Ah, okay, I have too many items in my inventory. Or active items, lots, whatever the heck they're called. Very clearly too many items. I cannot switch in time. That's just... Ugh, I think I don't like about the way that this game's interface works on pad. Everything else actually works pretty well on the gamepad, but... Item switching. You only only have, like, four or five items before it becomes too many. And that was clearly a situation where it was too many. I also got the lizard this time. What? No! What the, uh, the, the shit! Okay. So now I at least remember that there are, in fact, five of them and not three of them. I don't know where the others come from. Oh! Must come up from up there. There's that guy going over the wall there, the next guy on in front of them, and another one behind them. Okay. Darn it. Aha! Take that! You try to backstab me, I successfully backstab you! How do you like that, huh? Okay, so with that taken care of, largely taken care of, we aren't done yet. Because there's still another thing that I have to deal with. And is this giant guy. I'm not even going to try to parry this thing. Like, to me, there's no point. I can't even backstab it, though. I can! Oh, wonderful. Oh, that is perfect. I'm not sure I can do the... No, I can't. But I can backstab it again, or not. That's fine. That works, too. And then you're the guy who was throwing those... Those undead hunter charms! Finally, I get rid of you! I... You can shoot it. But... Whatever. No illusion ahead. Yep. So it would appear. And then that's the path back up, which I'm not going to take this way because that is a silly path to take. There is a much safer path to take, which allows, which involves going over here, down here, grabbing this item, which is another soul, and then returning back to the bonfire where I can safely deal with things. Now, from here, I'm going to have to go over the bridge and go to the left again, but then continue along to the left rather than going where I did. But that'll be after I deal with what these souls are. Alright, so again, drop left, and I'm going to have to avoid the puss of man over there, that's going to be a problem. Mainly because there's enemies here that are going to be problems, like halberdiers, and crossbows, and axes, and everything that's, everything I have a hard time dealing with, all at once. Ow. Okay, this is not a great start. 
If I can just get rid of that guy. Ah, darn it. Okay, I've gotten them distracted somewhat. Oh, come on! Seriously? Okay, that's not the strategy to take. This is... Uh, I don't like having ranged attackers coming down on me. That just becomes... Like, you just end up getting killed by a stray bolt after you thought you did something. Granted, I just got killed by a stray halberd strike, thinking I dealt with everything. But at that point, the battle wasn't quite over yet. Actually, I come to think of it. No. No mistake. And I positioned wrong. Okay. Well, oh. Shoot. That's fine. I can deal with that. That's that's fine. So there's a thing over here. There's an enemy over here. Or I thought there was. Or not, apparently. Yeah! Oh, hey, this actually works really well as far as dealing with the crossbow. I'm not in a position they can hit me from. And then... Backstab! Get my HP back. Get rid of the crossbow wielder. And then you also backstab. Get more HP back. Get rid of... Well, not really get rid of you. Mostly get rid of you. And then wherever is the person that's throwing down those... Undead Hunter Charms. I actually don't know where they are. There's also a couple of Lothric Knights if I wanted to, you know, commit suicide. I don't remember what they're protecting. But there's another way around to get to them, and I'm going to go take the other way around to get to them later. It's a fair bit later, but it's not that much later. And considering what I need to go to get through to get to them. I think there's a shortcut I can get otherwise. Actually, no, there is a shortcut. It's a very clear and obvious shortcut. The shortcut is kill the dragons. Actually, that's not as much a shortcut as a prerequisite to continue along the area. So, be back once that's done. Okay, there we go. Ow. Shortcut opened. Dragon's dead. Puss man's still hanging around. And no, I have no idea how to get that item up there. That is one thing I do not know. There's an ember. There's a lightning urn. Is that everything? No, there's still more. I mean, the thing is, I think you're supposed to actually get around them some other way and then go up and around. I don't know. There's a lot of weird nooks and crannies in this area, but you gotta kill the dragon somehow, and I don't know if there's a way of doing it that doesn't involve what I just did. There might be. It's probably a secret bookshelf or something. Yeah, well, shortcut's unlocked, so I can do whatever the heck I want. Which means I can go down and deal with the thing down here, because there's a thing down here, and it's not a... It's not a nice thing. It is, in fact, the other Aerithal Outrider Knight. There are two of them. This time I'm much better prepared. Ow. I mean, somewhat better prepared. I certainly have my daggers. That was something I didn't have the first time. Which don't seem to matter. No, they don't get... That's why I opened the shortcut. I... I can't do anything in one shot today. Okay, good, you're dead. Sheesh. Don't mean to get angry, but I just... I don't know, I want this thing to... Whatever. Just... I don't like when things take longer than they have to. And scale... Shield... Okay, that's cool stuff. I thought one of these was a mimic, but I guess not. Nope, just a bunch of titanite. Alright, well, that's cool. Okay, well that was probably the hardest part of this area, although there's some other hard bits coming up, but yeah, that was a pain in the butt. Anyway. I think that, yeah, that just covers this. I have to go through here and then probably go up the ladder is the safest route. 
I go through here, there's a few firebomb throw. Oh, serious. I can't deal with that. Okay, whatever. You can. Oh. Whoops. Well, okay, that gets rid of most of those. Most of the problems here. As long as I'm not near the barrels, I should be fine. The problem is that all those barrels will explode if I get if they get hit by the firebombs. Ah, there we go. There's the extra health from the backstab. Okay, I'm just gonna go along this way then, because I forgot there was a puzzle man over there. I mean, I was hearing them, but I thought they weren't actually there. Which I know sounds silly, but... Well, I did. Actually, yeah, this area is hard to... No! Ah! Man, there's so many enemies here. There's a lot of fast enemies, which makes it difficult for me to choose which weapon to go with, and I'm going with the daggers, because they're my faster weapon, even though they're not great for dealing with crowds. They're good for dealing with enemies that move too quickly for me to easily deal with them any other way. Also, there's a mimic up here. Why are you not... Why are you staggering me? Don't stagger me. Anyway, yeah, there is a mimic up here. Along with a bunch of these guys that are fairly easy to kill, assuming I don't wake up all of them at once. And the mimic as we found before, can is kind of hit or miss. It either is no problem whatsoever, or it completely destroys me. And I'm not sure which way this is going to go. Oh, right, I knew that was the reason why I was worried about all of them coming up at once. And that guy was the reason. Ah, there you are. I... There! I don't know why I didn't retarget faster. That was kind of silly on the game's part. Okay. So that's been taken care of. More importantly, what I need to do, however, is pull this lever. Do that, the gate opens. Now, it doesn't give me an easy access back to here, but it's still really important because I had to open the lever anyway. Since opening the lever is actually the main reason you come through here. Anyway, now to deal with this thing. Hey. Can't say I'm looking forward to it, but... Well, it's a mimic. And it's going to go for the... E oh! No, it's a Dark Souls 2 style mimic. I don't know these this one's patterns very well. Like, it'll jump try to eat me and I don't know when that'll happen. But it doesn't matter. It's dead. Ah. Okay. It's dead. I got a lot of Titanite scales. That's cool. Now I just have to deal with the thing over here. That is not easy to deal with. The Puss of Man. The problem with the puzzle man is that they, unlike the mimics, do not go away when you've killed them once. I think with this one, though, it can't get in. I'm not sure, though. Well, yeah, it seems to have a certain limit. It seems to be limited pretty precisely by where the dragon dropped. Ow. That's fine. Oh, come on. You'll, you'll stagger when I tell you to stagger. And then you'll stay staggered, and then you'll die. And you'll know, scream and expect my mercy, I suppose. Oh! Oh! That's the dragon. Which means there's one over there that I have no idea how to get... To. Oh, wait. Oh, I do know how to get to this one, actually. It's way later, but yeah, it's that ladder there. That's an area you get to. That's right in front of the boss fight, in fact. And... Yeah, if I get to there, you can drop off, and then you do fight that puzzle man and deal with that dragon. Or the fake dragon, I guess. The Puss of Man dragon. Puss of Dragon! Which explains why they, they didn't move much. Wasn't attached to a small hollow zombie character. Okay! Progress! And this is just... Okay, this is just part of the back area I was at before. Alright. That is good then. And this is the area past and... Cool! More Titanite scales! A lot of Titanite! That is this area in a nutshell. All Titanite, all the time. And now that that area is cleared up, I think I can actually make through most of it. So the thing is, is that the area that I've just gotten to, where I opened up the gate, there's a couple knights there. And if I get through them, I'll be able to go past the- oh, never mind. There's a thing down there. If I go past them, that's pretty much the pre- that's the area right before the boss fight. I do want to get there. Fairly quickly, in fact. I mean, why not? There's no reason not to. 
But Lothric Castle is a fairly large area, and I don't know if I'm going to be dealing with the boss fight this episode or next episode, and I'm guessing next episode. I don't expect to deal with it in the next few minutes. Just because, well, I, I really didn't. I'm actually kind of surprised how fast I got through here. Despite the issues with the Irithyll Outrider Knight, that was... That was a small hiccup that otherwise didn't really impact too much how fast things go. The thing is, I also have 35,000 souls. I can come back here without really any issue, and that's the area in question that I get to. So, for now, I'm just going to spend the souls again. Now we can deal with the knights. Okay, so there's a couple of them. Along with a couple of the priests, which are going to be a pain in the butt. Because they can sacred oath their buddies there. But as long as I only have to fight one at a time, which is not the case, so I'm kind of screwed. Okay. I should get out of here. That weapon buff on the sword wielder is... I mean, we've seen it before. It is scary. I am right to be scared of it. Oh. Yeah. Eat magic! Or or don't. That's fine too. Ow. Oh, that's a dragon sword. Or not a dragon sword, a lightning sword. Well, like the dragon slayer type things tend to have that as a signature element of their arsenal. Ah, and now you're gonna do the thing that you do that I, that's fine! That opens you up. Okay. Good. Ah, but there's another priest. Ah, but the knight's not there. Well, that was a mistake on your part, wasn't it? I mean, you can go wild all you want. I'm still gonna stab you in the back. Now, the other one was a spear wielder, which means that if I wanted a parry, I mean, the first one, the one I was fighting at first, at least, that was more parryable. Ow. Ah. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm not dead. Far from it, in fact, and they're not being charging at me either. Ow. Oh, hey! I dodged that! I survived! I took hardly any damage. Great. I thought there was another enemy over here, though. No, I'm getting confused between this and some area in Bloodborne where a bunch of dogs are by a staircase. That I know it's a weird thing to get confused by, but... Yeah. There's an area in Bloodborne where there's dogs behind a staircase. I think it's... I can't remember which one it is. It's one of the... Hunter... I actually don't know what area I'm thinking of. I wanted to say Hunter's Nightmare, but that's not what I'm thinking of. That doesn't have dogs by a staircase. Unless I'm thinking of Grand Archives, and actually am thinking of Dark Souls 3, I'm just thinking of a different section of Dark Souls 3. Which could very well be the case. Anyway, shortcut! Hooray for shortcut! This will bring us back down to near the Dancer Bonfire. Actually, the area that I cited as being the hardest area in this, or hardest section of this entire area, which has clearly been proven false, but this is that area. That is where we're going. Eventually. This elevator was clearly installed some time ago and was designed to move slowly. So up here, this is the bo this that's the boss fight. I mean, I guess I could deal with it right now if I wanted to. But that's the boss fight. Over here is the area I was talking about where I could approach those Lothric Knights from below in an alternate fashion. I don't remember if there is anything here. I mean, there's gotta be. It, it's a room. If there's a room, that means that there's something in there that's trying to kill me. Those are the lessons I've learned. But apparently no. There's a chest with Titanite Scales. So this one I counted about 33 Titanite Scales in the entire game thus far. And there's... not much else. So yeah, for those of you keeping track, you can upgrade two boss weapons fully. Oh, right, this is a shortcut that leads to the Grand Archives, I believe. Yeah, it makes it a bit easier once you've beaten the main boss fight to then go further. Red Tearstone Ring. Nope! Oh, right, this texture. This is the weird texture that just looks like an illusion but isn't. I don't know if that'll actually come up in the video because of the way compression works. Ah, here's the break. Eh, 9,000 souls, that's not a big deal. I can survive if I don't have that. Alright, 
So over here, rooftops, there's some items, there's, I think, an area you can get back into from here. Is there? Uh, no, no, I'm thinking of Grand Archives again. Grand Archives has rooftop areas you can walk through. And those are the Lothric Knights I was talking about. And Kaitha's Chime, which I believe is a intelligence-based chime. And I appear to be... Correct. Or potentially correct. Let's see. Affected by intelligence, yeah. Well, okay, it's, you can see from the scaling it's affected by intelligence. But, nah. I mean, it's one of those things, if you're a sorcerer and want to cast miracles, which, I mean, I am a sorcerer, or I'm playing a sorcery build. Not sure if I want to cast miracles, though. I'm pretty good with the spells, honestly. Yeah. Oh, right, they get up if you hit them. They don't have weird stagger frames, which I expected them to have, and they didn't have. I was being silly. I wonder if those things drop something useful. I kind of don't care. I mean, they might. I just don't think they do. Meh. Whatever. I'll get those, I'll get 10k souls back easily. It's not a big deal right now. What is a big deal is that I actually could fight that boss if I wanted to. Or kill that dragon. I mean, I did not expect Lothric Castle to go by this fast. Oh, wait. No, I know what I'm doing wrong. This is... Right, this is not where the shortcut is. This is where the shortcut is. Okay, so the next step... Actually, there's a few things. Like... Hmm. Hmm. I, I don't know. I'm feeling indecisive. I want to fight the boss fight now, or want to fight the boss fight next episode. I think I'll fight the boss fight next episode. There's a lot of stuff that can still be dealt with this episode. Like the Puss of Man! Well, the Puss of Dragon, I guess. Yep. I mean, I guess I don't have to really worry about this too much, because it can't get to me. Oh, I say that. I guess it can sort of get to me. Yeah! Oh, okay, I didn't, I didn't wait long enough. There we go. That's the other dragon taken care of. Alright, so that's both... Well, both fake dragons taken care of. All the items taken care of. I can't remember if there's anything other than the mimic in here. I don't think so. Oh, wait, there's... I hear thralls. I think I hear thralls. Hey, Braille Divine Tome of Lothric. I mean, handy if I was using miracles. And ironically, I never found it with my miracle build. Until well after I cared. But this is a mimic, you see. And the problem with mimics is that they imitate items. Although I think this is a Dark Souls 1 style mimic. And also way weaker than the last one. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Now, as long as it doesn't do a flying kick on me. Or, or that. But that's fine. I can dodge that. Without even realizing I had done so, thinking I was dead, briefly. Sunlight Straight Sword! Oh yeah, the one that... that... what's his name? Solaire uses, or used. And it was all about being sunlighty, which I don't think I can use, actually. No, I can't. No, it doesn't even say it was Solaire, it's just... One-sided adoration is the only thing that mentions it. And it mentions the words of sunlight. Which are actually here, just not in that specific section. They are slightly up. But hey, drag taken care of, mimic taken care of. Ah! I might be able to jump from here? Nope! Ow! Not what I wanted, but that's fine. And... Yeah, oh wait. Hang on. That's why shortcuts exist. Well... Let's see. I have that, and there's that, which leads over to somewhere there. And this seems like a good enough place to call the episode. So, anyway, we're halfway through Lothric Castle, or most of the way through Lothric Castle, and just about to finish it. So, till next time, when we actually do finish it, enjoy stuff.